All right, today we are talking about my favorite weighted, or as I like to call loaded calisthenics, because technically all calisthenics are weighted, you're using your body weight, but we're talking about the best and most effective ways to load extra weight onto your body and what exercises are best for helping you build that raw muscle and strength. Before we jump in, some criteria. What am I judging these exercises on? Well, first and foremost, how easy is it to load? Because you can load up almost any kind of body weight exercise, depending on what tools you're using, but some are much easier and more accessible than others. Second is which ones require the least amount of equipment or weight in order to use? And then finally, what are the best benefits for helping you build more strength, stability, and mobility with these exercises? Exercise number one is the weighted dip preferably on suspension straps if you have them, because that makes the exercise a heck of a lot more challenging. More challenging exercise, you don't need nearly as much weight. And while not lifting as much weight is typically thought of as a bad thing in the ego-driven lifting world that I used to be a part of, or in weightlifting sport, when it comes to weighted calisthenics, it's exactly the course that I recommend, because it means that you're ultimately still working your muscles very hard, but it's a lot easier to find something that you can lift lying around, like heavy books, rocks, or something along those lines, and it can be potentially a heck of a lot easier on your joints. In addition, dips are super easy to load. All you need is a dip belt, or what I'm using here, this is my, actually, this is my ISO loop that uh, you can get through WorldFit. I'll put a link down below to all the equipment in the description, but this is literally something you can carry around in your pocket, so it's really easy to carry like on vacations or to the gym and stuff. Very comfortable, super adjustable, and really easy on and off too. So you don't have to fiddle around with taking things on, putting things off like you would in a weight vest or adjusting the weight. So very easy to load up and ultimately very easy to unload as well. In addition, the dip is one of the most comprehensive upper body pushing exercises you can do. It uses your shoulder movement through a very wide range of motion, getting your shoulder, your entire shoulder, your entire chest, and your triceps at the same time. It also is really easy to adjust through how much you're leaning forward, how much you can squeeze in, again, different angles and positions if you're using rings or suspension straps. Highly customizable exercise that brings a lot of benefit to the table. Exercise number two, of course, weighted pull-ups of whatever variation you like. Again, the benefits are very much the same on the dips. You have a big range of motion in your shoulders and at your elbow joint. You also have ease of loading because you're using the same tool, the same sort of belt that you're using or whatever weight works perfectly fine. So you don't need to have any additional equipment or adjustments for the exercise. And in addition, it's also very easy to load on your body since the weight sits on your hips as opposed to something that you're putting on your shoulders, which depending on, like me, I like to use very narrow stuff, can get in the way of bunching up if you have very heavily padded weight vests. Now I can hear some of you already say, yeah, but Matt, what about the weight vests? What about weighted push-ups and rows? Very good exercises, big fan of them myself, but to be perfectly honest with you, I've long found Weight vests to be one big major pain in the butt to use, which is why I almost never use them at all. The dips, the weighted dips and the pull-ups will get the job done for your push and pull chains. You're not missing out by not having weighted push-ups and rows. With that said, however, I know some of you out there are just, but that's what I wanna do, that's what I like. In that case, I recommend this bad boy, this of course is the Kensui weight vest, which takes care of a lot of those problems that I've always had with weight vests, namely the fact that they're a pain to load and unload. This just uses conventional weight plates, and which makes it so that you probably will change the weight with those little tiny pouches and stuff. No one ever adjusts those things, much less during a workout. So this is a lot more practical in that regard. Heck of a lot more comfortable as well. This is the uh, Kensui light vest, so there's not extra padding here. So I can reach my arms up like this, and it doesn't get all crimped up and bunched up. And it's very well balanced, very nice stain and put kind of thing. So if I want to do weighted push-ups 
weighted rows. This is my weapon of choice when I want to change things up a little bit. And then finally, unilateral squat work. You can do this any number of ways. You could, do, of course, do walking lunges, split squats like this, or Bulgarian split squat variations with your back leg up on a step. The suspension trainer, that's, again, making it harder. Fence post, anything that you can find to bring more weight onto your front leg. Even exercises like assisted weighted pistol squats are extremely effective because, again, you're using one leg, so you don't need a whole lot of weight. So you can find a rock or you can find anything heavy laying around. And I always recommend doing single leg work with some sort of a bit of a support if you can find it. So that's why it's much more of a strength exercise than a stability exercise. So there you go, my best bang for the buck, weighted calisthenics exercises, weighted dips, weighted pull-ups, preferably on suspension straps or rings if you can manage it, and weighted unilateral leg exercises for building the raw muscle and strength as efficiently as possible and throwing in maybe some weight vest style push-ups and rows just to add a little bit of variety into the routine. Let me know if you have any further questions down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Be fit and live free.